yesterday was world savings day and uh, i was giving a lecture demonstration on how to save money so that you don't have to depend on banks for loans and other things because i have achieved this from my own life experiences and uh, it i was given that talk based on the six jar system developed by harvey no he said the, the world leader in is uh, the uh, world the best one of the best trainers in the world and who has developed the system and that has really helped thousands of millions maybe the maybe even millions of people okay so today i'm going to talk about that system in because they were all telling me that okay you take in the class sir is it possible to you know, upload a youtube video on this system so that we can frequently watch it and uh, implement it in our life also so that's the reason that i'm just having that video today so that everybody will get benefited yes i am showing you a six jar system a where you can have an excellent financial control or an excellent control of your expenses and within a span of six months you can see some good positive results in your savings also so let me just take you to that uh, uh, screen sharing and this is where it is and yes this is what is six jar system of savings by harveka okay harveka and he has done a, it it is wonderful system that he has developed okay so this is nothing but this i mean this entire saving is uh, derived into six jars is nothing but it is six bank accounts where you will have okay six accounts exclusively for six different purposes and in that for in that thing what you will you do is you will definitely see a massive results okay so the first one is necessities necessities are our day day to day activities no day to day expenses and other things so it includes paying rent then having the food and beverage expenses then we will have to pay the electricity bill water bill okay the other other kind of mobile charging bill so many things you know we need to pay so this 50 percentage is exclusively made for that purpose where you can use this amount exclusively for only for that purpose so once you get a in the for example if you are salary salary person once you get a salary on first of uh, first of the month what you do is you just simply transfer 50 percentage of the your net income to this necessities account So you may say that I am a businessman. How can you expect me to get a extra the amount exactly on first of every month? So in that case, what you can do is whatever whenever your income is coming, okay, from that income, okay, for example, if very maybe you are getting income on every week, you are getting every month is fifteen days, whatever it is, whenever it is coming, you need to just take fifty percent of that income and move it to this account. so once you do that what happens is there is a control that is you know that only up to this level i am allowed to spend okay only up to this uh, this particular percentage i am allowed to spend on a monthly basis the next one is long term savings fund long term savings fund what you do is you allocate 10 to 15 percentage for long term savings okay that is you are getting One lakh rupees. What you do is, I ten to fifteen thousand rupees. You are straight away transferring, straight away transferring to your long term savings fund, and which is used for a kind of big ticket purchases. Like you now, you may be, you may have to buy some car, or you may have to buy some Harley Davidson bikes, or so many things. Blah blah. Okay. So for these kind of big ticket purchases, you are using this. You may have to even buy land, whatever. So so you can use it for uh, vacations. You know, Dubai is for is uh, happening. so you have to what happens most of the people when they plan vacations on on a on a fast super fast note so what they will do is immediately they will go and take out uh, the credit card and they will swipe it and book the ticket and when they go there they will simply just throw the uh, credit card and make the payments in each and every places so what happens only after completing the vacation when they coming back they will start scratching their head oh my god i mean i should not have wasted such a money this will definitely happen when the next month bill comes so to avoid this kind of things okay what you can do is you can keep take money only from this long term savings fund 
For example, if you have to go to Dubai uh, uh, festival, okay, Dubai Expo, okay, you have time till March 2022, okay, you can calculate what is the amount that is required to go and come back and stay and travel and to uh, uh, roam around and all. You need to check in this account whether the sufficient money is available. Or if that is not available, you need to, uh, you need to keep putting money into that in this range. And when it reaches, when it reaches, then only you will be planning for that trip. Okay, so next is exotic fund. Like that, like the name says, okay, this is purely for exotic purposes. Okay, but that is again, we are putting 10 percentage. We are putting 10 percentage of our income in exotic fund. And what so we may have to go eat outside or we may have to go for a movie or theme parks or we may have to go for massage parlors or whatever it is. Okay, so you are all, we may have to go to pub, dance, discotheque, whatever it is. So you can use 10 percentage of your money from this only. Yeah, this is exclusively for that purpose. If this area is blank, you are not going. It is very simple. It is just as simple as that. Okay, the next is for learning. Okay, so if you are going for learning purposes, what, what we do is, I mean, you need to plan. Okay, it is not that somebody is offering a, offering a course. Okay, so you are somehow you are arranging, you have arranging the money and joining. That is different. Okay, that is not the right way. You need to have what on all the income. By every, every time you are getting an income, you are keeping 10 percentage for this purpose. You are keeping 10 percentage for learning purpose. Okay, so once it keeps accumulating, you will decide which kind of learning that you are going to attend. If you have to attend some big trainers, okay, you, you need to have a lot of money. Okay, so uh, one of the advantages, they will advance, they will inform in advance that is our training program is supposed to be held on so and so, so and so, month, so and so, so and so, year and all. So you can plan for that and you can keep that money for any of these purposes. For any of these purposes in learning, you will take only from that account. That is 10 percentage only from learning account. You will not take from anywhere else. Okay, what if if not no money is used in this one? Well and good. It is it keeps it keeps on adding. So if, if you're not using it for uh, three or four or five or six months, it keeps on adding. So definitely you can use it for a very good training programs, better training programs, maybe abroad also. So next is financial freedom account. That is the most important part of it. Because ultimately, whatever we do, we need to have financial freedom. So this account is exclusively for financial freedom. Again, 10 percentage of your income, net income. 10 percentage of your net income is allocated for financial freedom. Okay, in this financial freedom, you can have the shares and mutual funds. You can invest the shares and mutual fund, or I mean, or you can have this in the property. If you have a property, or you can give build a property so that it can be given out for rent. Then publish book. A publishing book is a very good idea, right? So what will happen? It will keep on providing passive income for you for the entire life. And moreover, when you are meeting somebody, uh, especially a prospect, instead of giving a visiting card, if you give your book, which is published, what will happen? They will, oh, wow, this guy is not normal. Okay, this guy has published some book. That kind of respect level will be there and the chances of getting an order is always there. So this account has to be maintained for financial freedom account as we maintain to get a complete financial freedom. So from all your distresses. Next comes charity. Okay, now what we do is when somebody comes and uh, tells that uh, we need to have from orphanages or from somewhere, somewhere else, what we do is what we take out our purse, whatever the amount is available, we give it to them. Okay, when we are trying to open the purse and give it, uh, the sound will come from the kitchen. Okay, the better half will be calling. Hey, what is this? How much you're going to give? Don't give this much. That uh, blah, 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 that kind of chit chat will be happening. Murmuring sounds you can hear, right? So all those things can be avoided. What you can do is you can have an account exclusively for charity. And you are fixing other five percentage and because totally it is under percentage. You can, if, it is, if you are fixing long-term savings as 10 percentage, you can even fix it 10 percentage for charity also. If you are fixing 15 percentage for long-term, you can fix it at five percentage. And from that only you can, you will use it for donations. If somebody say coming and saying that please give us 5,000 rupees donation, straight away you will check whether how much money is available in that uh, charity account. 
If 5,000 rupees or more is available in charity account, from that you will give. Otherwise, what you will say is, I am not in a position to give you this much of percentage. I can give you only this much. If it is possible for you to accept, kindly accept. Otherwise, you come next month so that my account is, that charity account is clear. It, has, it will be having sufficient money. So when you are having such a kind of clarity on what is the amount that you are going to spend, okay, it, you may feel it is uh, ridiculously difficult, but it may be ridiculously difficult initially. But once you start doing it, once you start doing it, definitely you will see a massive change in your lifestyle. You will see a massive change in your confidence level. You will see a lot of massive change in the way you live because you will be having enough fund in each and every account. So you may be wondering that how can I open five or six bank accounts? If you have the problem, what you can do, what I used to do initially was I used to have three bank accounts. The balance are all real jars. Only. Real jars I kept in the, uh, our Godrich, our, our, uh, this thing, Godrop. Okay. So like that you can do and keep practicing it. When if you get 10 rupees, divide it and put it into that uh, six-jar system. You will start really enjoying You'll feel a kind of thrill there because you are literally seeing money growing. That itself gives you a lot of confidence. And finally, one more thing that I want to tell you is that if you are having Amazon or Flipkart or other kind of uh, uh, things in our mobile, okay, you will be getting a lot of push notifications for buying offers and other things. What you can do, you may feel that you may feel a kind of large urge to buy it. So what you can do is you can just take that out, take it and click it and send it to wish list. Okay. Once you keep it in the wish list, wait for 48 hours and see whether you really just think it over, whether you really need it. Even after 48 hours, if your mind says that, yes, I need that, then only you proceed with purchase. It is easy. When, when Once it is in wish list item, you need to just click it to move to buy. You can easily buy it. So this kind of system, this kind of systematic way of managing funds will help you in six months time, okay, in a span of six months time, you will become financially a different person. And definitely, you will not be standing in front of you in the bank to meet manager for seeking loans. They will be actually in your company saying that we are ready to give you loans. <laughs> because you are financially plunging, your account is all having enough funds and all. People used to say, you know, the bank is giving loan only to those people who are having a lot of money. Not giving loan. Why? Because they don't have confidence. But when you have you know, enough, enough, enough fund in our account, naturally the bank will be having a lot of confidence and they will definitely come and tell you, we will give you loan for your business. So this will take you to different level. Okay, so use it. And if please let me know if you find it very useful or even if you have any kind of difficulties, please message me. You can just put a comment below so that I can respond back to you because this is the system that helped me regroup and relieve my life. Thank you so much.